What happened was I, I was uh, at an airport looking for a book for a long flight and I saw Jennifer's book and um, I read the blurb and what fascinated me was uh, I, I didn't realise that um, Cary Grant, who was my mum's favourite movie star, I hadn't realised that at, at the height of his powers, when he was the biggest star in Hollywood, he gave it all up to, to be a single dad to the lady sitting to my right. Lucky for me. <laughs> Lucky for you. And I, I, there were lots of revelations. You know, I, I, did, I didn't actually realise he'd had a daughter. I didn't realise he was married to Diane Cannon, Jennifer's mum. And then I, I started to read more and more and, and dug deeper. And at the heart of everything was this extraordinary Dickensian story about turn of the century England, where, where he was born, where um, he's told as a little boy... His mother's died, and so he, he's devastated by this. He's hungry, he's living in poverty. He finds um, an outlet as a, as a circus performer, uh, tumbling and acrobatics and stilt walking. They go on a, 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 a they sail, sail to uh, New York for a vaudeville tour, and when it's time to come home, he says, I'm not coming home, I'm staying here. And at the age of 15, in a, 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 on his own, completely alone in a... In a, in a alien city, New York, he stays and survives and fights. And I just thought it was the most extraordinary story. Um, and also, it, what, you know, what I thought was really interesting as well was how that had, a, how what had happened to the boy affected the man. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, Jennifer, I guess you're on one of the few people in the world who know the other Cary Grant. I mean, we know the Cary Grant as a product, if you want, product of the tremendously of, or a product of himself, but you know the other side. What could you tell us about that, being the daughter of this icon? I will say that, you know, he, he did create himself. I think he stole from different areas and different people, um, but he was very much the same person at home that you saw on screen. He was funny, he was charming, he was thoughtful. Um, he liked to discuss things. He was a quiet man, really. Um, he loved to listen to classical music. Uh, he read all sorts of papers, and he would wake in the middle of the night and read generally biographies, self-taught, was it um, difficult, sorry, was it difficult being his daughter? Oh, goodness, I don't think anyone wants to hear about that, really. No, it wasn't. He was lovely, and he absolutely devoted himself to me. I think the only thing that's difficult is that he had very high standards for himself and for everyone around him. So when I fell short, which I inevitably did, <laughs> that was tough on me. Yeah. Okay, totally. <laughs> Cool. So Jeff, <laughs> bring Jason into this. Jason in, into this uh, drama. I thought he 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 did great. Wasn't he brilliant? Yeah. yeah, he absolutely nailed his voice and his accent. We we um we we searched long and hard for our actor to play Carrie, and it, it it was an incredibly difficult thing to take on. And we looked at you know we discussed lots of thoughts and and met some people. But um, there was something that uh, Jason said that made us realize that, that he was our man, which was he said, I'm not going to play Cary Grant, I'm going to play Archie Leach. Mm. And that, I thought, yeah, that's a very smart way of doing it. Because, and he said it, he said there's nothing more stupid or terrifying than playing Cary Grant. But he could play a guy who'd had this trauma as a, as a young man and how it had had a lasting impression on, on him as an adult. And that's what I thought he did magnificently. In, in, in his eyes, you can see, even at, at moments when he's, when he's quite still, you could see the complexity in the character as Jason played him. So we couldn't have been happier with, with what he did for us.